let's check your grip. Something that probably doesn't get done often enough and well enough and is really worth coming back to time and time again. So the first thing we've got to make sure we get right is that thumb and that finger need to be in a V shape and creating this angle of a V on that part of the grip. You always want to make sure that V is in the open part of the grip, which is that, that ridge there, getting that V, the, the point of that V right in that section. It's so important to get that. I see a lot of players close that grip around the top and they, there's no V whatsoever. And if there is a little bit of a V, sometimes it's in, right down the middle. So let's make sure that V is on that open side of that grip. As you can see from this side of my backhand, that finger is significantly away from, from that middle finger. You'll also notice that there's an angle to my fingers. We don't want those fingers angling into the grip like this. We don't want to hold it like a fist. It's much more like a paintbrush rather than a hammer. That's the way I like to think about the grip. Let's make sure it's, the fingers are angled slightly. And the final tip I want to give you on the grip is where it sits. Please ignore the slightly dirty grip. Um, it sits across the fingers rather than sitting in the palm. It doesn't push back into this part of the hand. I don't want it sitting over there. I want it sitting over in the finger part. So if I can get it more into the fingers, that makes a big difference. You'll notice, I can't quite see if you can get the angle, but you should be able to see through there. There should be quite a nice gap between that fleshy part and the grip. So make sure you go and have a look at that grip, check it's all in the right areas. It'll give you a lot more racket head control and give you the ability to play a bigger range of shots and get yourself out of trouble.